problems known as Fermi problems after Enrico Fermi, um, who was a physicist from uh, the first half of the uh, 1900s. But uh, before the age of calculators, so sometimes it was useful to make sort of powers of 10 estimates of, uh, of situations. And I'll, I'm going to use a calculator for this, uh, but the point of the Fermi problems is you uh, don't know the right answer. And no one knows the right answer. So we uh, put together a series of estimates and calculations and bring together factors you will generally get a better result, a result that's more reasonable, if you have many factors in your calculation. Some factors you will be guessing too high for the number you use, some you'll be guessed too low. Um, but let's try this one. We want to estimate uh, the fraction of the land area of the Earth that would be used up if we really packed people in side by side the whole population of the Earth, if we got them into one place, um, gathered them somehow, and the adults are standing, the senior citizens are standing, the babies are standing, we're going to just uh, assume sort of rough averages. Uh, so, but I did go online, and you can do a search for this as well. But uh, this is recorded in early 2016. We're not there yet, but it won't be too long, and there'll be 74 billion people living uh, on the Earth. The Earth's population, 7.4 7 billion. So, wow, how, how much area would they take up if they stood up? And, you know, what fraction of the Earth's area is this? Are we running out of uh, ground for people to stand on, even, you know, packed in side by side, really close together? Well, I started this in uh, my first calculation, series of calculations, is going to find out um, how much area do 7.4 billion people need to have uh, to stand side by side. So you know, I measured myself. I took a little guess as to an average human, uh, what the uh, dimensions might be. And, and I came up with just a, a starting here, uh, 15 inches on a side of a square as the area one person would need, as area one person would need. Well, I'm going to work this in metric units, so I converted this into um, to centimeters. The 15 inches, and we'll go ahead and do the official conversion, 2.54 centimeters is one inch. And that tells we we have uh, 38 centimeters on a side, or 0 0.38 meters on a side. Um, and the area then would be 0 0.38 times 0 0.38. That's 0 0.144 square meters. 0 0.144 square meters. That's what one person needs. How would we then come up with the area that 7.4 billion people need? Well, we need to multiply this together. This is for one person. We've got 7.4 billion people. So I'm going to up in this free space here, do that calculation. A billion is 10 to the ninth. That's how many people we have. And I need to multiply by 0 0.144 square meters for one person, one people. Uh, English words aren't the same, but those units cancel. And the area that 7.4 billion people need turns out to be 1.07 times 10 to the ninth square meters. I'm getting a little bit away from the concept of the Fermi problem by carrying this many digits. Um, you, you might just uh, say it's a billion. Uh, square meters. So that's that's one number. Another number we need is how much area of land is there for the earth? We don't want them standing in the water. Uh, what is the fraction of the land area is our question. So we have to figure out how much land area there is. Well, the area of the earth, earth is pretty much a sphere. So that would be calculated with 4 pi r squared. And you can look up the radius of the Earth. 
Um, unless you want to try to guess it, I'd recommend you look a few things up as you do these problems. But that radius um, is 6.4, I got ahead of myself here, 6.4 times 10 to the 6 meters. So 4 pi times 6.4 times 10 to the 6 meters, that would give us the area of the Earth. And if you go ahead and use a calculator, and again, violating the rules of Fermi problems just a little bit, keeping too many digits, but I don't like round off errors. 5.15 times 10 to the 14th square meters. That's the total area of the surface of the Earth. That includes water. Well, about 30% of the area of the Earth is land, dry land. So to find the amount of uh, land area, that's going to require us to take 0.3 times the total area of the Earth. 30%, 0 0.3, 5.15, 10 to the 14th meters squared for our total area. And we end up with a land area of 1.54 times 10 to the 14th meters squared. And I dropped a 1 here on that, on that exponent. 1.54, 10 to the 14th meters squared. Well, how do we find the fraction of the land area that's used up by 7.4 billion people with my estimate of how much area one person needs. Well, it's time to do a division, a ratio. So all the people, 1.07 times 10 to the ninth meter squared, and our uh, dry land area for the Earth, 1.54 times 10 to the 14th meter squared, and if you do that division, I'm, I'll round off here, 7 times 10 to the minus 6, the area of the earth, the dry land, is a lot bigger than this minimum, you know, my suggested minimum, for the area occupied by 7.4 billion people. 7 millionths of the, uh, of the land area. And you know, roughly, our population could be 100,000 times larger and we'd still have some dry land for everybody to, to stand on. You know, some of it might be swamp land, but uh, that's, uh, there's still quite a bit of room, although I would personally would not like to be packed in to a 15 inch by 15 inch uh, square. And you know, there's going to be other people right next to you. And as far as you can see, that would be people. Depends on how tall you are, I guess, for how far you'd see. But uh, this example of a Fermi problem, uh, so I had to guess a little bit on how much, uh, on the dimensions of a square that one person would fit into. You know, it's going to be, for some people who are a little bit more bulky, that's going to be a bigger square. For children, that's going to be a smaller square, but I, I picked a number. Um, and then found the area, total area used by 7.4 billion people. Um, I really didn't do a lot of guessing here. This, uh, I think I'm remembering correctly that 30% of the surface area of the Earth is land. You could look that up on your own if, you're, if you had a question on that. Perhaps I should have also. Uh, but we end up result 7 millionths of the uh, land of the Earth would be occupied by people if we put them all in one place. Okay, so uh, I think with that one, I'll, I'll end this, uh, this video. You might ask your friends to calculate this. Don't tell them how you did it. And then you know, ask several friends and see if you get some sort of a consistent result.